wonderful, beautiful energy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do something a little bit silly right now. Once again, please welcome the entire cast out onto the stage. Here they come, every last one of them. Three down, three up. Three down, three up. Three down, three up. Where are you going, Phil? <laughs> this, Phil's Phil doing his, his birthday laps. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know which one we're doing? You know what we're doing? What are we doing? We're going to do the national anthem. Uh, y'all want to hear the national anthem? Yeah. I'm going to conduct it. Are you ready, Kev? <laughs> I don't know. Just give us a key. Ready? Don't, don't be afraid to join in if you want to, but I'm going to conduct. <clears throat> warm up, warm up, warm up. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a couple of them back out here to play with us. Please welcome Chip Powell and Jennifer Horn Webster. Here they come. Come on back out here. <laughs> Did you guys feel like you stayed in tune? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, climb right on over here. Chip is a kindergarten teacher. Wave to the people, kindergarten teacher. And Jennifer is the mom of a kindergarten student. Have a seat over here for a conference, a teacher student, no, a teacher mother conference about a kindergarten student. Now, why are they having such a serious emotional situation, this teacher? Making bombs. What was that? Making bombs. Beautiful, brilliant, I love that. The child, the kid, has been making bombs. What's the name of this child? Elion. Damien. <laughs> Elion Damien, all right? His name is Elion Damien, a young little a five-year-old child has been making bombs. Not one, but several bombs, ladies and gentlemen. There is one game here called the buzzer. At any time when I make a buzzer sound, any actor that's speaking has to change the last thing they said, thus increasing the spontaneity. The buzzer. Give him a little sugar. Here it is. <laughs> Listen, let me just start off by saying, the minute I walked in here, you were negative towards me. <sighs> Mrs. Damien, do you have any idea how many lives are at stake at this school? <sighs> Mr. Powell, do you have any idea of the importance of that one little life inside of my son? Ilian has many lives inside of... Min Damien is possessed. <laughs> Damien is a piece of shit child. <laughs> no, I'm so no, I'm sorry. I did not want to go there, but that, that's... <laughs> okay. Well, Mr. Powell, it's just as I thought. I'm going to support wholeheartedly the fact that Damien is building bombs. Eh. I am going to show you my bomb. <laughs> I've got a bomb in my pocket for just this occasion. Oh, okay, you take it back. 
Oh, wait, wait, just a second. Are you talking, uh, yeah, ho, ho, ho. Uh, all right, all right. We can negotiate here. Okay, can... because Damien knows that when he experiences negativism, he needs to burst through it. Uh, and he needs to put a bomb inside of your pants. Uh, <laughs> he needs to fill the world with light. And if that is from an explosion, well, so be it. <laughs> Mrs. Damien. I don't appreciate you, first of all, coming in here with a bomb, eh. coming in here with that attitude problem, eh. coming in here looking so seductively at me like that, like you want a piece of daddy. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't take a bomb just to ask me out. <laughs> What are you talking about? But apparently they thought I stole her bike. So you let her take it? Dude, it's not my bike. I know, but I asked you if you'd want it for just two minutes. Hey, there's your bike. There's your bike right there. I'll bet you can probably beat her ass, too, and take it back. <laughs> Dude, I don't think it's that fucking funny you guys let her take my bike. Why are you trying to take my bike? What are you doing? What are you what talking are you about? To take my bike for? What are you talking about? This is my bike. Do you know him? Do you know her? Come on, do you know her? Oh, shit, leave me All I asked you to do was ask my fu I just asked you to watch my bike for two well, fucking minutes. This is minutes. my bike. What I'm the? just taking it. You don't have not. it. Come you're not here. Get off of me. <laughs> Get off of me. <laughs> this is your bike. No, there's no. Get off of my bike, dude. This is my bike. I swear to God, I will hit you. Help me! Help me! Get off of me! Hey, my bike. Bike. No, this is my bike. It's my bike. Call the police and they'll decide who's bike. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it. I don't know why everybody assumes that I'm the one that's wrong here. It fits me perfectly. Look, right here. Look, right here. This is my bike. Is she just fucking. Help me! Help me! Help me! Oh my god. Yes, we got that. Sarah Baker, ladies and gentlemen. The lovely, the beautiful Sarah Baker and Mr. Kalen Conover. Kalen Conover, there he is. How you doing, Kalen? How you guys feeling? Yeah. yeah, I like that little scene. You like our bicycle scene there? Wasn't that groovy? Yeah. I thought so. Climb right on up here, right up into the kitchen, if you don't mind. Kalen, you're going to be entering this scene, entering the kitchen door there. Kalen is coming to Sarah's house for a first date, ladies and gentlemen. Where did they meet? Grocery store. At a grocery store, very good. At the grocery store. Now, based on your suggestions, I'm going to be changing their dialects. Different dialects of this country and other countries. This is a bit of a challenge. Give them a little sugar. Here it is, dialects. German, German. Yeah. I love wine, yeah. It's good, no? Yeah, we very good. To us? To us. Hi. <laughs> Mexican. Hey, that's some good wine. Hey, man. Oh, man. It tastes good going down smooth. Like, oh, yeah. I don't see the worm in there, though, man. <laughs> oh, man. Cowboy, cowboy. Oh, yeah, you just helped yourself there to another glass. <laughs> Woo! There you go, awesome. my lady. Hope you'll enjoy another helping. I sure will. Let's have another toast. All right. This one. Indian. It's to all the people out there in the world. <laughs> Because some people go to the grocery store every week and never find a lover. I believe the 
at the guts of Glushner. That's right. <laughs> Baby <Hey>. talk. <laughs> so then I was like, <laughs> this is my first, first date with you. Because when you have a first date, it's like the very first of the first. <laughs> You want a, you want a, a patty cake? Jamaican. I love to play patty cake with you, man. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, man. Patty, patty cake, patty cake. Patty cake. Jive. Bacon, Bacon, man, you know what I'm saying? No. This just what? No. I, I ain't no. up for no uh, patty cake on the first day, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Mm. Oh, I got me here a classy bra. Oh, okay, so okay. Nice. Say that again. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Vietnamese. I get what being a little silly right now. Maybe we should try to have a conversation, get to know each other better. All right, um, what are you come to grocery store often for? Well. When I come to the grocery store, uh -huh. I like to do all of my shopping now. My grocery for the week. But now I have your potted meat. I need nothing else. Armenian. Armenian. <laughs> well, what, what do you have to say to me? Tell me a speech. Give me a speech. Um, will I go to grocery? <laughs> Scottish. For the various reasons. They, all I'm asking you to do is name one. Uh, well, I love to go there to watch the women. And I've found you. Is this not the first time you've come home with a woman from the grocery store? I'm afraid not. <laughs> Wow. Thank you very much. Very kind. Give it up for Jim Issa as he takes the stage by himself. Mr. Jim Issa. All right, James, I think we're up here. I think we're up here. Go ahead and have a seat right up there. Jimmy's going to do a monologue all by himself, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to improvise throughout this whole monologue, of course. And I'm not only going to change, I'm not going to change anything as simple as a dialect like we just saw. That's pretty difficult. Emotions, that's, that's difficult, could be, styles, could be, but Jim's got the toughest one. He has to absolutely change who he is. He's gonna go from one famous impersonation to the next. And if he doesn't know them based on your suggestions, it's gonna show, so we gotta give him a little bit of heart on this one here. We need from Jim not only to improvise and to be able to do this successfully, but we need a true story from him. We need sincerity. A lot of times up here you can just make stuff up and come up with lies, but right now we're going to ask Jim to give us something sincere, a true story from his life. Now I've used that word, sincere, true, both of those words, from his life. What, what story, what, what do you want to hear about puberty. in his... Puberty. All right, you got it. From Jim's puberty, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to hear a true story from Jim's pubescent stage. I will be changing his impersonations. He needs a lot of encouragement. Give it to him. Here we go. Um, puberty. It's kind of a long period of time in my life. <laughs> I think it lasted... Uh, it started real early, let's just say that. I, I remember in, uh, in seventh grade, swear to God, uh, me and uh, two of my friends sitting in the bathroom, and, and I don't know how I came across this, but I found some hair growth stuff, like in my dad's bathroom or something. And uh, so me and a couple guys are in the bathroom taking it and rubbing it in our armpits, thinking, oh, this is going to be cool. Jack Nicholson. And I can remember taking a little extra and wiping it all over my body. <laughs> Sure enough, out came the hairs, man. Puberty started from that day forward. Christopher Walken. And I can remember sitting in class one day. <laughs> Seventh grade, you know, springtime, hormones start to flow. And the next thing I know, I'm sitting there across from Lori Belanca. Woody Allen. And I, and I see her in a whole new light today. <laughs> 
me. It's true, the days of looking at porno magazines in my dad's restroom were long gone. I'd found the real thing. Not only were hair standing on my head these days, but next thing you know, something else is standing up. It's quite embarrassing, I Elvis! Elvis Presley! And I can remember, man, looking across that desk at Lori, singing, Hey, baby, I got something in my pants, and it's writhing hard for you. Marge Simpson! Marge Simpson! And she looked over at me. <laughs> And she told me that she knew what I was going through. I had new feelings, new kinds of feelings flowing through my body. Wow, it was crazy. Dr. Evil from Austin Powers. And so the saga continues. That summer was spent in Rangoon and swimming pools with my erection floating about all over the place. It was, it was quite awful because I knew not what to do with it. It was, um, how do you say, I'm um, in the way? <laughs> Bill Cosby. Until one day, in the midst of my puberty, I found out the joys of masturbation. <laughs> Welcome to Atlanta's Inman Park Tour of Homes, a yearly festival. You bumped into the camera? You know, I got some chimpanzees down at the circus that, that can run a camera. Hello and welcome to the Inman Park Tour of Homes, a classical event. Babies. They're babies. Okay, could you not bring babies in the shot because they're going to watch the babies and not me, okay? Is he looking at the camera? Would you like to be on the microphone? Because I'm ready to quit. An annual Atlanta event where people of all shapes and sizes. Are, are you looking at the camera? Are you looking at the camera? You want to be on camera? Okay, come take the microphone. Be on camera. Just go ahead and do my job for me. like I was you, okay? All right. And I'm going to walk past and pretend to be you, okay? Okay, you're going to walk past and pretend to be me. This is my 23rd uh, festival. And uh, hello, sir. Would you like to talk on the camera? <laughs> I have to go find ahead, myself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk about Inman Park. Here the we go. Inman Park House Tour Festival is uh, wide open. It's a beautiful day to be outside and come see the pretty homes and come see the great band. My name is Harry. I'm a member, actually the founder, of the World Children's Party. The World Children's Party is a musical party for all the world's children, as well as a, as well as a political party for all the world's children. Thank you. Could you talk to me for a second? Hi. Are you having fun in there? Are you having a good time? Here we are in the moonwalk at the Humpty Dumpty Moonwalk in the Inman Park Tour of Home. I'm here with... Just be still for five seconds. What's your name, pal? Dylan. This is Dylan. Oh! Oh! oh. Stop bouncing around! Oh! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. We also have candles. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't... I'm sorry where I was going. An annual Atlanta event... Oh, so sorry. Sorry. An annual Atlanta. Sorry, sorry, man. Bill Cater, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bill Cater and Jennifer Horn Webster. How you doing? I like that one. Y'all looking kind of fly there. Have a seat. Get Thanks, ready, buddy. ladies and gentlemen. This is the last game of the night. Give yourselves a little sugar. You've been so good to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And don't forget to tell your friends if you had a good time tonight. And remember, the 10 o'clock in August, Friday nights, we're going to be on Turner South, so be sure to tune us in. You might even see yourselves there. Ladies and gentlemen, these two rappers are here to do a rap together for us. We brought actors out here and had them do raps by themselves, I think, three times. But never have we brought two out here. What we need to know is what do these two rappers love most about life? The greatest American hero. Right on. The greatest American hero. The great, how many of y'all remember that show, The Greatest American Hero? Yeah, yeah right on. All right, for those of you that don't, it's some uh, blonde-haired, curly guy who flies. That's the whole thing. <laughs> the Greatest American Hero. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what they love. What do they love most about that guy? His hair. His hair. All right, I'll buy that. His hair. What's his name? William Cat. William Cat? Cat. Cat. Cats? Right on. Very good. Way to go. I got drinks for you. All right. That's it. They love his hair. William Cat, parenthetical S, we're not sure. William Cat, 
<laughs> and these two are going to rap together. It's never been done in rehearsal or on the stage, so we don't know how it's going to go yet. But give it up for Kevin all night long. Give it up for my rappers. Here we go. Yo, 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 check it out. Talk about Bill Cat in the house. Yo, Greg Becker here, man. Yo, yo, yo. yo Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Yeah. And how about that tight curly blonde hair? Shit. Oh, yeah. I said, Oh, Billy, oh, Bill Cat. What a silly Billy. Where'd you find that cool red suit? It fell out of a spaceship, dude. You put the shit on your tape for yourself. You start flying, bitch, and you ain't gonna stop. He goes running fast. He goes running slow. He wears a red suit and saves the lawyer. Yo, yo, counselor. What's up with this? Yeah. 